haven't seen Mama Cat around for a while. And this resembles a small cat. Not that I would encourage making feline paella. No way, shape, or form. Doing in the morning is cooking it, or the next evening cooking it. And you're enjoying your company. That's what paella is all about, guys. It's all about family. It's all about friends. It's about cooking around that stove top or whatever and talking and BSing, drinking a little java, something, something. It don't matter what. But it's about family and people. And that's what cooking's all about, I think. <laughs> good morning, guys. Good morning. This is this is the this is the video you all been waiting for, I'm sure. I'm a, I started this video last night prepping some meat and stuff like that. So this intro, intro, little intro here is going to, uh, oh, it's going to be just a little short and sweet. But, but this is what I'm excited about. I'm in a collaboration with three other channels. I say four in the video, but it's three. Count them three. Um, Big Lou Barbecue, Cooking with CJ. And uh, I always forget Texas Barbecue and Cuisine. So we got Robert, Bob, Rob, I don't know what he goes by. I'll meet him one day in, uh, in person and we'll know. But we got Robert out at Big Lou Barbecue. I, I like that channel. We got CJ, cooking with CJ. He's a Southern California boy. Uh, and then we, I think it's Johnny, I'm pretty sure. It's Johnny at a Texas, Texas Cuisine. Uh, check these channels out. Give them a chance. Look at them. You might learn something. Might even be entertained a little bit. I believe Johnny's a, a teacher, cooking teacher, uh, something like that. And uh, I've, I've learned a couple little hints watching some of his videos. Just, just check them out now. Okay, so what I'm excited about is, is cooking a cooking a, a, a pan of paella, paella for you. Now, paella pans, they're a shallow pan. They have rivets, little, uh, oh, not rivets, they have dimples, little dimples, kind of like a golf ball. And this is when it's on the fire, the heat's going to kind of disperse around the pan, and they're supposed to cook, uh, cook evenly. Now, I got, I think this is a 16 inch, I think this might be an 18, uh, it could be 14, 16, I don't know, it's irrelevant, it doesn't matter for today. Um, I like them, they're a neat little pan, you could actually get them at Target. Uh, but I would, I would get a good one. I'd order it online, get it from Spain. I don't know. But I'm not going to use the paella pans today. Okay, because this is Rico. Rico's cooking on a barbecue pit. So we're not going to do the paella pans. What I'm going to be using over on the uh, Weber kettle is a 22-inch cast iron lodge. Excuse me. Skillet. So then, anywho, guys, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get me another, uh, another cup of coffee. And then I'm going to start cooking. So I'm going to put in. You could put anything you want in paella. You could put all kinds of clams, mussels, shellfish, crawdads, uh, lobster, scallops, chicken, uh, beef. It doesn't veggie. It doesn't matter. You put it. What I'm going to do? I'm going to do uh, an orange, a yellow, a red bell pepper, a couple tomatoes. An onion. We finish it off with some lemons. And that's that's the veggies. Okay. I use the different color bell peppers because I like the, the, the colors in the dish. And I, I like bell peppers. And I'm just gonna Cut these up in uh, like quarter inch, half inch pieces. Kind of try to make them even, but they don't have to be all that even. There's the bell peppers done. Next step is I'm going to do the uh, onion and the two tomatoes. Before, before I do the tomato and the onions here, I'm going to slice up the, uh, 
This is, I don't know the proper name, I guess, but I call it a hard salami type uh, chorizo. It's a Spanish chorizo, it, it, but it's it's a solid one, okay? And, and that's a, a, a traditional chorizo that goes into uh, the paella. Now, if you want to use regular chorizo, breakfast sausage, any kind of Italian, you do whatever you want to do. It's your paella. I like to slice this. Kind of like in angles. And we're going to go about quarter inch pieces. I like them long. We're going to take off the paper. And why I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and do the garlic also. Now remember, the, the rabbit's marinated in a garlic, balsamic, olive oil uh, marinade. I like using the rabbit. Rabbit's expensive. The rabbit I've got, and it took me a couple days to find the store that had it, and they finally had some in their freezer. $14.99 a pound, 15 bucks a pound. When I called the guy, he goes, well, we have some. They're, oops, they're whole rabbits. They're fit $14.99 a pound. But they're two and a half pounds, of course. Like, every rabbit's two and a half pounds. I don't know about that. So this rabbit... $36.58. Okay. I'm going to cut out and just use certain points, pieces of this. So we're not going to get a whole lot of rabbit. We're going to get two or three chunks. Then I'm just going to smash it. We're going to do twice as many tomatoes as we are onion. Cut this off, throw that to the rabbits. Now, the onion, the garlic, and the tomato, I'm going to put that in what they call the, I think it's a sacrate, or sacrate, or sacrate, S-O-C-R-A-T-A, I don't know. Hopefully, uh, Big Lou, CJ, or uh, Johnny, out at uh, Texas Cuisine, Barbecue Cuisine, hopefully they'll explain a little bit more about the sacrate and how it's supposed to cook for 40 minutes or longer, that, da, 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 all that kind of stuff. I'm going to cook mine probably 30 minutes. But you take this onion and this box uh, grater, and we're just going to go like this. Hey, chicken. That's a little better. And then we're going to put this sausage in with the uh, rabbit because we're going to brown it. Kind of parboil it. One of the things you do in paella, that a lot of steps. And don't, uh, don't try to throw this together in an afternoon if you haven't done any prep because you're going to run out of time. And your guests are going to come over and they're not going to be eating paella. They're going to be watching you piss and moan and, and yell and scream because you ran out of time. Well, wait. That's what I do all the time. And I'm running out of time now because i got to be somewhere at 8.30, but I'm, I'm going to kind of get this done and play it by ear. Now, you could prep almost everything the night before, even the tomatoes, the onions. You can par-cook uh, par, par the meat, everything. And then all you're doing... 
So we got garlic done, tomatoes done, onion done, meats done. We're going to go ahead and get our charcoal going in the Weber kettle. Don't forget to, guys, check out these other three channels I'm in collabs with. Uh, cooking with CJ, Johnny out at uh, Texas Cuisine, Barbecue Cuisine, and Big Lou, the barbecue guy in Louisiana, I believe. Check them out. Please do. Please do. Let's get CJ over his uh, thousand subscriber marks. This, this collaboration should uh, kill it for him. All right, guys. Let's get our stuff going. Let's start doing it, and let's get done. I'm not going to do a lot of spicing. Every time I add something to the pot, I'm going to put a little salt. Probably not going to do a lot of pepper. We're going to do some more of the smoked paprika. Um, but we're, we're, we're going to get some salt paprika in it every time we add some. Let's get this going. All right. So we're just going to dump this charcoal in here. When the oil's getting hot and it's getting there, um, we're going to put the meat in there. We're going we're gonna to we're gonna cook it about three quarters of the way through. Because then when we're done with the rice, when the rice has got about 10 minutes or so, we're going to put the meats and the veggies all on top of the rice. It's all going to cook together. All those flavors are going to mold and, and blend together. And just, oh, it's just going to be awesome, guys. Awesome, I'm telling you. And I hope uh, the other guys, paillets, are going just as good as mine is this morning. And I, I, I'm just excited. All right, let's get going. So we're going to just cover this. We're going to use it later when the rice is almost done. We're going to throw this back on to reheat it, bring it up to the right temp. And, uh, oh, it's going to be mwah, magnificent. Next, we're just going to throw the, the bell peppers in here just to get them a little, uh, just a little fire on them, I guess. I don't know. We got all the crispies in there. We got some olive oil. We got some bell pepper seeds. I'm gonna throw in uh, about two pads of butter. Next goes the onion puree. We're gonna add a little salt. Every time we add a new ingredient to this, we're gonna put a little bit of salt and a little bit of this smoked paprika. We're gonna get these onions just to their translucent we'll give them about five more minutes on here I think next we'll put in the tomatoes one of the secrets in paella is to spin your pan around You just keep stirring this, spread it out thin, and we have a little over two cups of, uh, oops, oops, oh I screwed that one up I think. I think I put too much of the rice in. We're going to just brown this rice. We're going to put a whole beer in there. Paella, the two things that make paella is the smoked paprika. Oh my God. And a little thing called uh, saffron. Now saffron, saffron is billed as the most expensive spice in the world. This little bit I bought that I put into my little saffron jar, it was 0.01 tenths of an ounce, maybe? $10. I don't do, I'll do the math later, but this stuff's, this stuff's expensive, okay? 
What I'm going to do with the saffron, there's a couple rules of thumb here. Some will say it's really expensive, just use eight or nine strands. Others will say it's really expensive, use it all. Use a lot. You're paying for it. So we're going to not quite use all of it, but we're going to use... Then, I'm going to fold this up. We're going to make a little foil packet. Then we're going to stick this foil packet over here on the, uh, what the hell is that? The Weber kettle. Oh my God, that's tasting yummy tummy. And we'll put the uh, sausage in. Or the chorizo, I guess it is. Oh, that looks yummy, yummy in my tummy. And after you get everything on that you're going to put on it, you top it off with some frozen peas. Why the, why the paella is finishing up in the uh, Weber kettle, I'm going to go ahead and cut some lemons. We're done. We're done. Um, wow. What a, uh, what a fun dish to make. Uh, especially if you like the, uh, the little camarones. Oh, that's good. The protein turned out perfect. Just cooked. It's juicy. Uh, it's, just, it's just out of this world. I, I hope. I hope uh, Big Lou's, CJ's, and uh, old Johnny out at Texas, Texas Barbecue and Cuisine, Cuisine, Cuisine. I hope theirs turned out as good as mine did. Uh, when, when when you see all four of the videos, they all look awesome. I mean, we all poured our little uh, heart and soul into this dish for y'all. I can't taste theirs. I know mine's spot on, perfect. All right, now here comes the. Uh, the uh, the rice part. We're gonna get a little bit of the, the Frito there, the crunchy part. Oh, smells smells divine. Huh. You know, when I tasted it early, er, earlier, I didn't like it. This is really good. This is I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed watching the other, uh, the other, the other three channels. If you haven't subscribed to mine, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to theirs, subscribe and tell them, make a comment, tell them Rico sent you, send a little love to you. If anything, let's go over and subscribe to CJ. Cooking with CJ, he's uh, he's he needs about 270 
subs to get to that thousand mark. Let's get them over the hump. Hey guys, I got to get to work because I'm uh, I'm burning daylight. Alrighty, guys, this is Rico, the tie dye cowboy. Enjoy, enjoy the the weekend coming up tomorrow. Happy Father's Day to those of you that are uh, celebrating with pops. I uh, I'll give mine a call and say, what are you doing? And he'll say, I'm sitting on my butt. You know, he just the gripey old old stuff he says. But I wish him well. Keep on cooking, grilling, and smoking, my friends. Catch you on the next video. Salutes.